Now once you've gone around the edge with your tiles, all I've done right here is put the brush size down, uh, still using uh, the same colour and on the same layer mask, uh, just go around all of the, uh, basically the free space, um, keeping the uh, edge, so you still got the grout line between the flower and the tiles also, so you've got this green um, tile all the way into the free space for us to carve out the rest of our tiles. Now once you've done all of that, uh, the next thing you're going to do is apply the layer masks. So you want to go to your layer mask in the layers palette, right click and apply a layer mask. And do that for the next one. Now once you've done that, we're going to go and right click on the top layer and then we're going to go to merge down so once that's done that and then we're going to go to layer go to layer mask we're going to go to reveal all and then we're just going to go and make sure we've got the color to black and we're clicking on the layer mask that we've just made and then what this allows us to do if we lower our brush down is it allows us to carve out the next set of uh, tiles so all we've got to do is just go around carving out them tiles that we want now you don't have to be uh, worried about jagged edges they don't have to be straight as you know tiles um, well doing mosaic tiles they ain't always straight they're sometimes jaggedy um, and that gives it a more authentic look so just uh, experiment what you could also do uh, before carving out the tiles you can also make a blank layer which you can do on the bottom right hand side and use the pencil tool um, to sketch out um, all of the lines where, you, where you're going to carve them out and what they're going to look like and then you can carve out what you just did uh, right there so then you have a like a guide to help you out with this now once you've doing all of these tiles right here like there we want to move on to the actual um, middle of the flower now the middle of the flower has all this detail right here which we want to save so what we want to do is we want to lower our brush so it has a small grout line and we just want to go and carve out these specific um, effects obviously yours is going to be a lot nicer than mine at the moment because you're going to spend a lot more time on yours but just go on the outline just carving out all the small um, stems and stuff like that and all the pollen stuff like that and then you can make your brush bigger and then do the rest of the tiles as you was doing before and you can also start on the actual flower itself it depends what kind of brush size that you want because the bigger the brush the more uh, the bigger the grout line is going to be the smaller the brush the smaller the grout line is going to be so it really depends um, what kind of spacing you want to do between your tiles um, I kind of like a smaller spacing not such a big spacing as obviously you'll probably notice that this is quite a big spacing on this picture right here it's because I've only just rushed it and I haven't really taken my time with it so once you've done that we'll move on to step five now once you've done uh, all of that you've uh, taken all the tiles and you've put all the grout lines in and you've even done all the little bits um, within the flower so it all stands out 
what we're going to do is we're going to do the grout lines so first things first is we're going to apply the masking layer so right click that masking layer and click apply layer mask and then we're going to go to make a new layer which is going to be underneath the top layer so click the background layer and click the new layer icon on the bottom right hand side and then we're going to go and change our foreground color so if we click that now our foreground color is going to be this sort of uh, pale yellow so the code for this one is going to be D3CAA5 and then click OK I'm going to go to our paint bucket tool and click on that and then we're going to double click that layer I'm going to hit bevel and emboss make sure that the structure style is in a bevel the technique is going to be chisel hard the depth is 113 size is going to be 9 soft soften is going to be 6 make sure that you've got contour and texture clicked now the con the contour is we're not going to change any settings the texture you want to make sure that it, the pattern is black marble the scale is going to be 100% and the depth is going to be plus 100 as well and then click OK and well then we're going to go to uh, layer uh, we're going to go to layer mask reveal all then we're going to go and hold down the control key and click on our top layer which makes all the outlines of the tiles make sure that you've also selected the uh, layer mask that we've just created we're going to go to our paint bucket tool make sure that the foreground color is set to black and then click on it and there you go it gives the ground a lot more depth so we're going to hit control and D and that's the image done now what I'll do is in the source files I'll put a few uh, flower images that you can experiment and play with and practice on I'll also put uh, the brush in there just in case you couldn't create the brush yourself or you had some problems creating it and uh, please if you have any questions about this uh, please send me a message or go to my website and send me a message on that and I'll be happy to answer any questions or help anyone that needs helping. So uh, that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Also don't forget guys that you can also put loads of variations on this project. You can change the colour by hue and saturation. Um, you can experiment with more depth, uh, more layer styles and stuff like that. Uh, so please make it your own as well. Um, you can also add text into this and carve out the text like I've shown um, basically it's the same sort of way and uh, yeah so just go crazy you can create multiple colors um, paint on there there's loads of things you can do with this technique so yeah as I said if you need any help um, just let me know by my website and uh, I'll help you out bye for now